Hello and good Thursday, December 6, 2007. I'm Joanne and this is Rocket Boom. Just the other day, I was waiting for a page from China to load when I came across something unexpected. You've got mail. It was an email from Stephen of San Jose, California. For my conflicts in the modern world class, my interest was piqued. Conflicts, juicy stuff, lots of stories and rumours. I've been assigned a report on the conflicts in Tibet. Tibet. I've been watching Joanne on Rocket Boom for many, many months now and often use this podcast as a reliable source for my array of worldly knowledge. Me too! Anyway, the point of this email is a request for you to create a shout-out type video to my teacher, Mr. McChrystal, and his sixth period conflicts class. (laughs) Done! And so as I waited for my page to load, sniffing, coughing, (laughs) spilling, burning, you know how it goes, when I noticed there was more. A brief on any info you have on Tibet would be indescribably nice as well. Sure. Tibet is located in the very heart of Central Asia, north of India and Burma, and to the south of China. The Tibetan plateau, known as the roof of the world, is the biggest plateau in the world, about four times the size of France. Ça alors, c'est-à-dire vraiment très haut et super grand. And just to the south, the Himalayas, including the very famous, notoriously renowned and reputed Mount Everest. Tibet is also a centre of Buddhism. This is a Tibetan flag, but if you fly one in Tibet, it can cost you seven years in jail. The People's Republic of China holds that Tibet is not a separate country, but rather a part of China, ever since the Yuan dynasty more than 700 years ago. The Tibetan government, however, in exile, mind you, sees it differently. According to their version, Tibet has been an independent sovereign state for some 2,000 years. The current head of state and spiritual leader is the 14th Dalai Lama a reincarnation of the 13 Dalai Lamas before him. More recently, in 1949, the Chinese People's Liberation Army invaded. They defeated the small Tibetan army and occupied Tibet with tens of thousands of troops. They claimed they were helping to unify China. But obviously, not everyone agreed with that. In the years that followed, it's estimated that over 6,000 monasteries were destroyed and tens of thousands of Buddhist monks were forced to renounce their religion. Today? Riot. Arrests reported in Tibet. Chinese troops travel to Tibet using mountain railway. Next Dalai Lama may not be from Tibet. With the Olympics taking place in Beijing in 2008, China will do what it can to promote a positive image to the world. Supporters of a free Tibet will also try to get their case across. Well, Steve, as I'm sure you know, the conflict in Tibet has gone on for decades, and we've really even only just scratched the surface. However, luckily, the audience is very resourceful. So if anyone can direct Steve further in his research on Tibet, please go ahead and use the comment section to share lots of links and info.